Change plans. Apparently I'm driving this pig. We figure that if if I die at least uh at least Casey can still run the business. Oh, uh-oh. 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 Ah shit. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Probably should have gone through the door first. Good morning everybody. Today is Sunday, the 15th. My name's Taylor, welcome to Top Branch. My name's the boss. Morning Case, how are you? Good, I'm just uh, letting the guys know that I am on my way there, so that way uh, the truck's ready for us this time. Today, we are spending more money. We are buying another truck. Upgrading our cab over to a nicer looking cab over, and then that way I can take my time on this one and actually make it uh, a little bit better. The chip box height was not quite tall enough, and when the chipper is blowing chips into it, you have a lot of fly off basically, and the cab gets covered and the road gets covered. And I would rather uh, spend a little less time on cleanups, so we're gonna end up uh, retrofitting this one, and I want to make an aluminum as well, so that way it's a little bit lighter. So today we're gonna talk about our trucks. We're gonna talk about our fleet. Um, and how we got ourselves set up. We spent very, very little money. Um, we, we like to buy things and customize them ourselves. That way they're perfect for what we need. Just close the door and we'll get going. 4636. Jesus. There she is. And I think I spent... Uh, in, a, in a month and a half, you have a problem. 160 uh, hours, I think, is what I spent in this truck. <laughs> A lot of estimates. Business has been good. That's the engine run time. Yeah, engine run time. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are on our way to New Hampshire. Tell them is where we're going. Let's go buy a truck. There's the truck. It's an awful shade of puke green. It's a beautiful shade. <laughs> this guy's really into these trucks. Here's uh, kind of the new addition to the fleet. So basically what we got here is a, uh, it's a GMC cab over and it is a truck that's about 26,000 pounds. So just a, a hair under CDL weight basically. The reason why we end up going with these trucks is because be, by being a cab over, they have a really, really short turning radius. So when you have a chipper on the back or if you're trying to back into a client's driveway, it's super nice that this truck can turn quickly because a the chipper, they have a, they have a really small tongue, basically, length. So they end up backing up really sharply. They change directions very quickly. And it's nice with uh, these types of trucks where they can compensate for that really quickly. And then plus a short truck with a chipper makes it so that way you don't have to take a long time to turn around or have to go to a different driveway or different road to get uh, set up for your job. And it's a little on the quicker side for you to be able to get a, get started on the job versus your setup and everything like that. So, it's a 01 uh, GMC uh, cab over with a 3126 cat engine in it with automatic, uh, probably a five speed. Good motor. Great, great motor. Um, can't really kill them. They're pretty bulletproof. You can get parts from them super easily. They work. Um, so we'll, we'll also show you what we have, our setup, and then uh, when we start making this thing, we'll show you what we're kind of thinking about anyway. Because we want this to be an all-in-one thing. Hold the miniature skid steer, have all the ch chips, and tow the truck at the same exact time. Um, that way we don't have to bring multiple trailers or anything like that, or less dust vehicles in the client's yard, the better, basically, is how we end up doing it. Super easy, hopefully the radio works. You have the keys, right? I do. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can see really nice, the, there's hardly any blind spots in these trucks, which is super nice. Uh, so when you get to an intersection, you can see through the little doors, there's little windows on the bottom over there, and they're all around there, pretty great rigs, so. Yep, visibility's uh, good. Oh man, that's gonna be weird. It's gonna be really weird, having uh, having automatic stuff to stand it. I don't know if Ryan's gonna be able to handle it. No clutch right here, he's gonna be like. Oh, oh yeah, your foot's gonna, your where's foot. My, where's my clutch? When you're used to driving stick, and then you, oh, yeah. you know, Clutch foot hits the ground all the time. No, that didn't, didn't happen. Yeah. And this thing not being duct taped shut is weird. It is. That's really weird, weird for us. It's kind of weird having it flap all the time. <laughs> 
yep, we'll get all the paperwork squared away and uh, drive her home. They're gonna do a little finishing up and Casey's gonna drive that guy. I'm gonna drive Top Branch and uh, we're headed now to north of Rochester to pick up a winch and a gantry frame and so Casey's always buying something. Change plans. Apparently I'm driving this pig. We figure that if, if I die at least uh, at least Casey can still run the business. Little update, the truck has power right now. Uh, it just took us like 45 minutes to go a 20 minute drive, so it doesn't want to be it doesn't seem to be shifting quite right. It's not getting down into gear and when it does go down it doesn't have it just not having enough power. So Casey's gonna do a little old school GMC uh, reprogram and uh, see if we can get it to work. on trying. Doesn't have a lot of power when it's uh, in drive for some reason. So, it looks like we're going to take it easy going home, I guess. It's okay, it's not that far. Yeah, it's only 45 minutes as a regular truck would drive. <laughs> Two hours ain't bad. Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's not uncommon for these things to have a little drama and adventure with it, you know. But Casey's a pretty smart guy, he'll get it figured out. Home again, home again. We're back at the yard. So we think it's possible it can either be the throttle body, the turbo. Don't know. It's still not revving up quite right. Sound like turbo is not pushing my gear. So the vision for uh, the vision for this new truck is kind of the same as what we have here. This is the exact same truck except for white, and uh, we we put this bed on it. We got this from a dealer in New Hampshire that has uh, old tractor trailer parts and stuff. So we cut that deck out put this deck on there it's got a piston so it's a dump body built this chip box out of just uh, like a quarter inch or three three eighths steel made a separate little deck so our mini skid steer could fit right on it and we have a log grapple right here and then uh, obviously the cab over the only difference is this thing is uh, a manual transmission so we got some ramps right here and we put those on the frame and drive that baby down and we can load logs, we can do whatever. That's kind of the overall vision for the new truck is to basically remake this guy because the frame's starting to go a little bit on this one. And uh, we don't really want to push it too, too far, but it's going to be a good parts rig and maybe, maybe if we can fix the underside and stuff a little bit more, we can get some more years out of it. And this is our, this is Black Betty. Our chip box has a holes in the top so we just get forks forks of the skid steer and we go like this and we can lift that top off and now it'll load logs or whatever and uh, I think it holds it must hold like 14 yards of chip I think is what it'll hold but this is a pretty sweet rig this is an all-in-one kind of tree service truck where you know you've got a machine to load your chipper and a machine to load your logs that sits right on top and drives right up on then we got our chipper and the back in there and that works pretty good two-man crew with a couple chainsaws they can they can really do some damage and we have a whole bunch of other trucks and stuff going on over here but we'll fill you guys in we gotta get to work I gotta get home and, you know Sunday can't work all day wife gets mad but
What do you say, kid? I think a little bit of work, that'll be a good truck. Yeah, like everything. That's the thing what happens when you buy a used vehicle. You end up uh, you end up having to fix any of the bugs that it has. That one, we had a fuel issue, and that one we had algae in the tank basically, so I had to take the tank off, suck everything out of it, and then put it back together, and it was all, it's always been a problem, and still there's something in there right now, so once in a while the line wants to get plugged. In that last little, uh, the last video we did talking about sawmills, uh, we bought that sawmill back there uh, used. If you're gonna buy used, you're probably gonna have to work on it. You're probably gonna have to fix it. Cause you know, this isn't just like buying a used car. This is buying used machinery, used trucks that get worked. You know, they have to do real work. So we kind of expected that. It's a really nice truck. I mean, but we knew we were gonna need to work on it. That was the whole plan. The whole plan was to work on it actually while this one's still functioning, while that one's still doing things because now I can really get that one to exactly how I want it. I can fix any of the problems that I have with this one, how I don't like the setup and stuff like that. I can add a PTO to the transmission so then I don't have to worry about slow uh, slow dumping, especially in the winter time. Right, you can throttle up and I get it done. I can throttle up, I can get it done today. I can put a bigger one in there so if I ever wanted to haul a little bit of dirt with it, I could do that as well. And so there's a lot of benefits to that, and that's why I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it when I have some time to to do all that kind of stuff, but also make it so that way I can get it exactly what I want to do, and then that way this one's starting to rust out on some of the subframes, yep. and it's going to be down for a little bit, and it'd be nice if that one's running while this one's down, so that way I, you can do the old bait and switch. All right, man. Let's go drop you off. Got to go back. All your help. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming in today. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> all right, guys, like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, so you gotta give him the top branch wave. <laughs> if you guys, you guys ever see us in traffic or anything like that, just do this. All of our friends do it. That's how we know that. That's how we know that you're in on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, I love you. <laughs>